This celebrity interview is made possible in part by Capital Brewery. Coach K is one of the winningest coaches in college. He's also suffered from osteoarthritis, which is the most common form of arthritis. He's here now to help others, and he is joined by retired U.S. Marine Colonel Ron, and we're so pleased to have both of you. Thanks so much for taking the time today. Thanks for having us on, Jessa. Thank you. So we've got lots to talk about in terms of osteoarthritis and how you can help others. Coach K, I hope you don't mind. We're going to talk basketball for just a second. Sure. Talk to us uh, in your words. How's the team looking, the division as a whole as well this year? Well, we have a young group and uh, lost a lot of guys from our team from last year. And uh, But we've played nine games. We've won eight of them. And we're better now than we were three weeks ago, which that's a good sign. And we're also healthy. And being healthy is not just a good theme for my team, but also what Ron and I want to talk about today. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's a perfect segue to what we're going to talk about throughout the years. Coach, you've spent a lot of time on your feet. So talk to us a little bit about how that's affected you in terms of our topic today. Well, I'm not, you know, there are a lot of people who spend a lot of time on their, on their feet. You have nurses, firemen, policemen. Uh, you have people who carry have a lot of heavy uh, items. Uh, they, you, know, you have a lot of people who have osteoarthritis, whether it be knee or, or hip pain. And Ron and I, have joined the Pew Synthes and their team who've been fighting uh, to help people uh, with joint replacement for decades to, to start a campaign this week called The Hardest Working Knees. And you can read about it on allaboutkneepain.com, allaboutkneepain.com. And basically it'll help, you know, give you advice on how to uh, fight osteoarthritis and give you the names of physicians in your area. And that's basically who you should see, get professional care. And it may not be surgery. There are other interventions that, that could take place. And the Pew Synthes is doing a great job with, they're gonna make dona a good donation to Project Return to Work, Inc., which uh, helps our veterans uh, return to the workplace when they uh, finish their service to our country. Well, I think that's great what you're doing to uh, bring it to a local level here too for folks who are in need of some assistance. and. Ron, you're joining Coach K. We appreciate you and your efforts. Let's talk a little bit about why you're honoring people with hardworking knees, as you say. Yes, uh, the pain started about four or five years ago with osteoarthritis. I had been very active in the Marine Corps all those years, and I had completed over 50-something marathons, and I thought I was invincible, but I found out when I got osteoarthritis that the pain became worse. It wasn't going to fix itself. It wasn't going to get better. So I reluctantly, I, uh, it impacted my uh, home life as well as my professional life. At work, I couldn't even walk from one building to the next. I'd have to get a ride over because it was so painful. And at home, I could no longer ride the love of my life with a Harley. I couldn't pull, pull it up off the kickstand at 900 pounds because I had to push it with my left knee, which I couldn't do without a lot of pain. So I went down to the physician finally, waited too long, and uh, he referred me over to a uh, orthopedic clinic, orthopedic surgeon who performed a surgery very successfully with the Depew Synthes product in my knee. And after six weeks of uh, extensive physical therapy recovery measures, my knee continued to progress, no pain, culminating seven months later with uh, having run my 54th marathon 14 months ago, and then two months ago, I completed my 55th marathon, all with no pain. So we're hoping our stories will inspire your listeners to go to that website that the coach mentioned about all, all my knee pain, all about knee and uh, find out more about osteoarthritis, uh, osteoarthritis as well as the treatments available, and as well as uh, physicians in your area. Yeah, well, that's quite the story uh, that, you know, you've come full circle in healing, and we appreciate you sharing your personal story with us. Thank you so much for doing that, and we thank you for your service as thank well. Uh, Coach K, I want to get back to you for just a minute here. Let's talk a little bit about some of the challenges that you faced as well in, in specifics to osteoarthritis, and talk to us about how you were able to deal with them. Well, I didn't deal with them very well. Uh, I, let, I let it linger and I spent an entire season compensating and it just kept getting worse and I 
used my energy primarily to fight pain instead of my opponent and, and, uh, and to give energy to my team. And at the end of the season, uh, I really felt bad about myself and, and, and that I should have had the surgery done uh, way before. And then after having the surgery, I said, boy, that was not very smart because you feel great, you're back to normal activity, and uh, the pain's gone. And that's what we're, Ron and I are trying to get the message across that you do not, you shouldn't lead your life fighting pain. Let, let, let the Pew Synthes help you and uh, go to allaboutkneepain.com and you might get the advice that's needed or go to a physician and that's the main thing, go to a physician and get their advice. And don't live with pain, get rid of the pain. Well, I thank you so much for that advice and for viewers out there who may be experiencing some of the things that you talked about today. We really appreciate your personal stories. And Ron, we, we greatly appreciate your service. Coach K, it's been an honor chatting with you today and we thank you very much. Thanks for having us on, Jessa. Thank you very much. This celebrity interview is made possible in part by Capital Brewery.